But now, it's time for me to tell my story. That's why we're all here today. Uh, as uh, a lot of you know, I ran a magazine here back in the late 80s, early 90s, called Big Shop Magazine. That's where I met all these, most of these wonderful bands. Um, sold the magazine in 1996, moved up to Connecticut in about 1999, and then a couple of years of moving up there, started noticing some strange health issues. I didn't know what it was. I was it, it really working out a lot, in really great physical condition. So I kind of let them go for a while until finally it got to the point where they got really bad, and I, I you know, here, here I'm in Connecticut going to several doctors for, I don't know, two years on end. And, uh, you know, not really getting very um, definitive answers for any of them. I, in fact, I was just telling the guys backstage, I fired two of my doctors who said the exact same thing. They didn't even know it. They said, hmm, you don't look sick, and your symptoms aren't life-threatening, so maybe you learn to live with them. And, uh, you know, I said, you're fired. So, it took a holistic doctor, uh, literally didn't give me a single test. I, I just walked in and gave this woman my, uh, my health history. She said, I know you have Lyme disease, and we're gonna start treating you. We're, we'll give you the test, but you, you have it. So, like Katina said earlier, I felt relief. Like, well, at least I know what it is. And of course, that's when the, the journey began. Uh, it started with going on the antibiotic route, which I know works for some people, especially in the early stages, but when you're in a chronic stage like I was after two years, it, it's something you might want to think twice about. Um, how I was treated, this is on, on my own behalf, so I started taking the antibiotics first, uh, through orally, and, and after a week of taking them, I came back to see my doctor, and he said, how are you, how are you feeling? I said, like, shit. And he said, good! That means they're working. And uh, I said, I want to get this out of my body. And I heard this thing called the pick line, where they insert a line into your, one of your veins, and you can administer your own antibiotics, you know, but every day for several weeks. Well, I didn't know it was a surgical procedure. I had this thing inserted in my arm, went all the way up to, a vein, to the, my aorta. And the people who did it made a mistake, they jabbed my heart. And they had to keep me for observation. I ended up driving home that night, and that night when I was asleep, I rolled over on it, and it went in, and I almost died. And um, you know, called my doctor up and said, well, "Now what do I do?" He said, "Well, can you tough it out?" So I did for five years. I didn't keep the pick line for five years, but basically, I had another one put in after that, and my life started spiraling downward to the point where. I was literally praying to, to go, and um, finally, after getting off the antibiotics, I heard about um, herbal remedies, and I started taking those. I started getting my life back together, but not, not where I wanted to be. So, in 2010, I was at Wits End. I saw a documentary um, that people from the Oprah Network did on a guy named John of God a faith healer in Brazil that, you know, we've kind of all heard this story. Um, here's a guy down there with a rusty pen knife cutting into people and pulling chicken parts out of people and doing sleight of hand and making them feel like they're being healed. That's what I thought. But they brought down these Harvard-trained doctors and I could see it, the look on their faces, you know, after they went through the experience. Something had happened to them. And they, it was in their voices, we don't know what's happening here, we can't dispute, we can't explain what's happening, but something is going on. So that was all I needed to hear. Uh, sign me up, I'm ready for something different. So I flew down there, and um, actually you can hit the slide. <clears throat> this, is, this is John Bell, this is who I met. He is uh, he, healing people through energy healing, thousands a day three days a week. On the various days I've been there, he's healed from one to five thousand people a day. He does it without, well, there's two ways he heals. Now, the ones that get a lot of notice on television is, get the next slide. 
he does physical surgeries on people, and these are very sensational. He, he does eye scrapings, he does forceps in the nose, he cuts into people, no anesthesia, no sterile, sterilization, these people barely even bleed. And I, you know, I videotaped this. I've been three feet away from him when he's doing these things. And it, it, how, how, how can you explain it? You know, it's just, that's what's happening. But that's 5% of what's happening down there. The other, the, what I went through was this experience. You go in, you talk to him, and he speaks Portuguese, you have to have an interpreter. He tells you to go into a room and meditate. You meditate and you can feel things happening. And after two weeks, everything went away. It changed the way I look. Next slide. That's how bad I looked <laughs> the day I was there, the first day I arrived. Next slide. Next slide. Something's going on down there. And, um, you know, we all, we've had people come up here tell different stories. Mine, mine has a different ending, but uh, the result of this experience, you know, made me want to run this music fest. So, you know, I'm dedicating my life to this now, and I uh, hope you all come, come along for the ride. You know, people need to know about um, how tough it is to get not diagnosed with Lyme disease. How tough it is to get treated. There are very many ways to get treated. You can take antibiotics, you can take herbal remedies, you can go see John O'Gow. It's time for people to know. Thank you.